Yeah. One phrase describes the problem, the human condition, the conflict, the insanity, and all the madness of isolation. Paradoxic, right? This one phrase also describes the solution, the reality. Mm. Ready? The observer is the observed. Now with this, shall we solve for the human condition? Our world is so enamored with the neuroses invented by itself. Let's define it. Self. An invention of the brain. Constantly doing something. Becoming something. Doing anything, really. Rather than seeing itself for what it is. A loose collection of beliefs, attitudes, and opinions. Which is nothing. Self. Constantly criticizing and or defending itself from itself. Self. Always divided. The judge and the judged. One fake, fake thing continually dividing into two in conflict with itself. I must be more generous. I must be less selfish. I must be something. Says the judge, acting superior to the content judge to be inferior. Please. The observer is the observer. The judge is that which is judged. It's all self. So the complete change never happens for humanity. How could it? Part of the problem is pretending to be superior. And that part won't be changing. <laughs> Will it? A fabrication at war with itself, and so within, so without, witness a world at war. What's the solution? To see it. To see it patiently. Judgment free is to be who you really are. That which is. And is aware. And is. Self-aware. It is not self. Is it two? Or is it one? This reality. I'm looking at the death of duality. And this vision is the extinction of that convention, that common, common belief system. Well, there's only two things in this world. Me? And not me. I'm considering this to be a fallacy. A non reality. I'm looking at the death of duality. I'm looking to free everybody. So, how to do this? Let's check in with the particle physicist. Excuse me, sir. What's your take on this? Tell me, please. What is this energy you're academic community, that industry, the signs of polarity, positive and negative, proton or electron, I mean what is this energy we claim to be so comically constituting all that is, all mass, particles, planets, your ass, do we know? No? Alright, let's check in with the neuroscientist. Excuse me, miss, question. What is the, uh, in the brain I mean? The observer in consciousness. Not the self, not the ego, not that petty me, you know? That collection of beliefs, attitudes, and opinions humans carry and <coughs> add to lovingly and try to distance themselves from pieces of daily. I hear that may just be memory. The brain's invention, uh, an in-house story, a neural network fiction. My question, where in the brain I mean is this thing that takes a unified view of those five or more
more senses of all that memory, of all that we do. Where's that thing that sees? Judgment free. Where is that purity? That is imagination. That is attention. That is there. In the beauty of a sunrise, where thought is not. Is that function in a, in a lobe? A glen? Does the observer camp out in the hippocampus? Okay, do we know? No? Alright. What if the observer and consciousness will not a mechanical feature of the brain's function whatsoever? What if this observer and consciousness, remember this, choiceless, opinionless, or more or less a, an energy field? Capable of reading those electrochemical thought events of the brain. What if the energy field is you? Alright, now what if this field of energy? Queen and Graham is roughly born of that same immeasurable body of energy that particle physics assigns to the duty of constituting all material reality. That energy. Maximum respect. 21 grams, I... What energy? What thing? Do we see with a new radical definition the observer is the observed? Do we see our relationship to all things? Are we looking at the death of the world? The question is not who are we or what are we, but where are we? And are we lost in thought? I mean, who am I? That which observes. So where am I? Mm -hmm. Lost in the content, in those thoughts that Remember, that which is observed in consciousness is a kind of observer, a very wily, mischievous, nervous, ruthless observer, which is thought. And thought's not just observing, thought is judging, and changing costumes a moment later to be rationalizing, defending itself from attack, from essentially itself. It's a wild thing, thought. Freaking out in its cage. Biting its own arm. And gently cooing itself to sleep. Stroking its pleasurable hearts. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? Without judgment, that's you. See me. That's love. And you are free. In a way that may be the only freedom available to humanity. And the only freedom you'll ever need. Free to act outside the program. The patterns. The petty games thought plays with itself. Pretending to be you. Playing an observer ring. Watch it! Lost in thought. Do you see? Yeah? You are found. Let's hear it for the baby.